So number eight um, is generally represented by topaz. I couldn't find any of that either. But I found some aquamarine, which is a barrel mineral. I believe aquamarine sits at about an eight to an eight and a half, nine. Um, so this is also scratchable with the steel nail, but it's slightly more durable than the quartz. All right. Now we're up into the really, really tough stuff. Um, this is an example of corundum, which is generally what is represented as the number nine. You start to need some professional equipment to start uh, getting into these ones. Um, generally, that's a masonry drill bit, which sits at an 8.5 on Mohs, and that's why it is able to scratch everything up to a 9 and a 10. So I found this. I suppose I can use this as the example for 7 and 8, but I found this, and we'll see if... So you can see that it's just not doing anything to the surface and when you get up to these really really tough durable materials um what's gonna be the indicator is just the lack of a scratch rather than what you're able to scratch it with so a nine and a ten they're just essentially they're indestructible almost unless you've got some professional grade lapidary equipment to utilize this should scratch our aquamarine here might not because it's polished there we go i don't know if you guys could catch that aquamarine's pretty durable but it should still be scratchable it's scratching just a little bit but yeah that kind of sits in an eight and a half nine range anyway this one This quartz should scratch with the drill bit. You can see I made a little divot there. So yes, most hardness is a really useful way to identify your materials, whether that's outside in the field, if you're finding stuff, or if you've got something in your collection that you are not quite sure of. That's a really good way to... Oh, it's a really good way to test and find out um, what material it's made out of is through using most hardness scale.